Digital Activism Atlatso and Tamás Bodoki, Hungary Atlatso receives around 500,000 unique visitors per month who view Tomás's investigative reports based on FOI requests and a whistleblowing mechanism. In 2014, the website has uncovered cases of state control of the media, election fraud, government corruption, tax fraud and misuse of public funds. In response, the organisation has been placed on a blacklist. Tamás struck me as a brave and characterful individual. Again, Hungary is not very far away and yet I think we often forget the challenges that still exist here in Europe. I loved the comment that when he was put on a list of NGOs that needed to be watched, he would have been very disappointed if he hadn't been on that list. That seemed to sum him up to me. Nico Sell, United States of America. Working against the backdrop of Edward Snowden's revelations, Nico Sell is a US-based entrepreneur and Silicon Valley activist who has created Wicker, a private messaging app with watertight encryption technology. Messages self-destruct between one second and six days after being sent, making them impossible to recreate. This technology distinguishes Wicker from other apps like Snapchat, whose users have had their data hacked and published. Wicker has been downloaded more than 3 million times since 2012. Always wearing facial recognition software disrupting sunglasses, Cell is a charismatic advocate for individuals to take more care over their digital privacy. She also runs the non-profit training camp Roots Asylum, teaching white hat hacking to children and teenagers. Nico Sell is one of the most unique voices coming from the Silicon Valley. She encourages us to think more carefully about digital privacy and I think she has totally changed and challenged our understanding of hacking with her white hat hacking movement. Syria Tracker The bloody conflict in Syria is one of the deadliest in the world for journalists to operate in. Against that background, Syria Tracker encourages civilian reporters to contribute anonymous reports using encryption software. In the US, a team of volunteers geolocate and cross-check reports coming in, posting only reports that they can be sure of. Building up a huge collection of user-generated reports, photos and videos enables both Syrians and external relief agencies to know what is happening on the ground in a highly accurate, up-to-date way that would otherwise be simply impossible. It is enabling other people to track and know what's going on in that way, remind us of the importance of Syria. Valor por Tamaulipas, Mexico. Tamaulipas is a border state in Mexico that has seen some of the worst of Mexico's ferocious drug cartel-related crime. Mainstream news reporting on the state's cartels is rare because of rife intimidation. The crowdsourced news platform, Valor por Tamaulipas, is changing that by collating on-the-ground reports of shootings, robberies and missing persons, sharing this information with half a million followers on Facebook. Since its inception, Tamaulipas has been under constant threat. In October 2014, Dr. Maria del Rosario Fuentes Rubio, co-administrator of Valor's sister page, was kidnapped and murdered. Valor por Tamaulipas continues to run Undeterred. Talking about Mexico, especially about women, all we know is that we don't know. 